Anemone. Um, just to give you a very brief idea of my process and my kind of relationship to my work. Um, I prefer, on the topic of interpretation, um, I do prefer not to interpret or explain my work. Um, I try to use titles as a way of kind of giving people clues or like a little lead into, um, yeah, uh, and I don't like the idea that it would be like entirely inaccessible or exclusive to anyone, um, especially sort of in the more ex most extreme abstracted forms, I think. Sometimes people just don't know what to do with that. Um, so I try to keep my play my titles quite um, a little bit humorous and playful and kind of hopefully not too pretentious, um, but at least sort of have an element of of mystery um, and intrigue so that people kind of have to either go look something up, do some research, or think about what that could actually mean, but that it also gives them not so much a window into like what the work is about, because I don't actually work like that. I don't think, okay, I'm going to make a work about X, Y, Z. Um, it's really more about, I just kind of draw together a whole lot of things that at any given time I'm working through and, th and thinking through, and, and I use reference images and images of photographs I've taken and things to kind of put them all in one space together and see how that feels and it's often things that contain some kind of inherent contradiction or um, conflict paradox like and that's kind of personal stuff it's always from a personal place but also like universal applies universally and like um, so anything from like how I'm eating what I'm eating how I'm shopping what I believe in my own sexuality um, what I'm learning and studying, health, medicine, food, fashion, uh, environmental stuff, like, you know, it all kind of goes in there. Um, and for me, it's about kind of just, yeah, like, um, navigating the chaos, I guess, like allowing the chaos, creating the chaos through what I draw and allowing it to, um, allowing it to be there, being confronted with that chaos um, of the world and of those challenges and, and questions and contradictions and like the nuances of things, like nothing is nothing is black and white, nothing is just like, you know, be a vegan and that'll save the world, it, it's complicated, like, um, and so it's a place for me to kind of immerse myself in those complexities and um, and find some kind of way of being okay with that and and kind of not shying away from it not choosing to to give up because things are are nuanced and complex but rather like immersing myself in that and creating a finding a kind of pattern in it i guess and reflecting on the patterns that are happening around me um, trying to kind of like tune in to maybe an energy, a rhythm, a movement um, of the times around me, but also something maybe that even transcends that, um, something that is maybe um, sort of beyond particular time or like that's, um, yeah, just transcendent, um, kind of a transcendent motion and rhythm and um, that I'm always kind of hoping to maybe discover. I think my process is very much about, it's about a process of discovery for me. It's not about a process of of articulating an, 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 a vision or an idea. I mean, it is. It's quite interesting because it's that as well. But it's very much like when I finish a work, it's, it's like bringing to light something that I was looking for rather than something that I was trying to make happen because I could see it. Um, which I find like really, really cool about making art. Um, it's really what keeps me, what keeps me creating is actually my, um, my curiosity in, my curiosity t to see kind of a visual object, a visual articulation of, of kind of um, 
invisible patterns and um, events and 